I love that Mio's the super soft feminine character, but towards the end of it, she has abilities that are still pretty dope, but she still keeps that feminine edge. And it reminds me a lot, because I've been on Bleach, of Orihime, where Orihime is very fucking feminine and, and like, oh my, oh my gosh. But her abilities are like shield oriented. She still plays an important role. She's still getting caught up. You know, obviously they have to save her every every three seconds. But those types of shows, it's a nice switch from your average fucking um what what was that one show that we uh jobless reincarnation with the with what's mm. her face? Um what's the main girl, the the cousin that he fucked? Um, uh fuck, I can't think of her name right off the top of the head. Uh, it's coming to me. It's coming to me. It's, it's coming, coming to me. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> no, I, yeah. I lost that. But it's a nice switch because you're always used to seeing that in anime with the with the badass girls. And don't get me wrong, I love that, and I would prefer that. But it's cool having switched to shojo that you get other styles of where she's importance. still soft, right? And she's still, she, but she still has an impact. It's not just she's she's not like. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna you let know. you know right now. I don't know where you're at in Bleach, so I'm gonna leave the order he made one alone because I don't want to accidentally reveal something. But I disagree mm-hmm. with your take on her. But I do understand the point you're trying to make. Well, and and, and even up in the eyes and arc where I'm at, like that's the style she has. It's very soft. It's very feminine. Yeah, so, we get it. You're in love with her. Tell us how you really feel. Man. I am in love with her. Yep, yep. That's it. Nail on the head. Please marry me. Yeah, right. and I'm in love oh, with Mio as well. Got the shoulders going. Oh, he means it. All right, dude, you got to pick one. Who, who you, can't have, want... you can't have two wives. Who, yes, you can. <laughs> Tengen. No, you can't. Yes, you can. <laughs> not how the world works. <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're all fake. That's a, that's a, that's a nice switch. I mean, we talk often yeah. about that switch from Shoujo and Shonen. It's yeah, a nice and switch to have. And it, genuinely, like genuinely, it's needed. It's, it's a needed switch. Like when I watched it, I didn't realize I needed the switch. Right. But I got I got so into this I got so goddamn into this show it made no mm-hmm. fucking sense. It made no fucking sense cuz emotionally I am dead. I am mm-hmm. dead emotionally on the inside. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I cry at movies, whatever. Yeah. But I am dead emotionally. Right. And this one made me feel. I felt so mm-hmm. much rage and so much anger and I wanted to fucking like I was like somebody save her, please. Right. It's like it can't be this bad. Like this makes no sense. The show's called My Happy Marriage. This ain't nothing happy about it. Yeah, and the first ten episodes are all fucking misery. Right. Because even when she starts to get happy, even when she starts to get happy, you're like, yay, she's happy. Woo! Right. Here comes the stepmom and this fucking mm-hmm. sister. Just because she saw him walking by, mm-hmm. and she was like, oh, that's the love of my life right there. No, it ain't. You fucking blonde bimbo dumbass bitch kaya kaka what's her name kaya kaka yeah it's kaya okay so i was close her last name's not kaka but i'm pretty sure it's kaka that's the way i remember i'm pretty sure it's not i think you're making things up you're not far far (laughs) (laughs) no i'm pretty sure you're literally making things up you literally said kaka what is that what is that what family (laughs) (laughs) what family's named kaka Oh, it's yeah. the new family ma- name of the bitch boy and her. Because even right. at the end there, remember when she gets fucking booted off and she's got to be like a maid or some shit? Right. He's like, we well, could still be happy. Right. Well, and I, I love, uh, well, I don't love it. Um, bitch boy. But it was a cool, like, you don't see the arranged marriages anymore. And I don't know if they still do that in Japan. They do. Uh, okay. I, I not necessarily. Go ahead. You know, get get your point out. And in, in today, in in our yeah. world, you don't see in um, arranged marriages as often. I'm sure it maybe happens here and there. I mean, come mm-hmm. on, let's be real though. But it's not the common thing, and especially in Western culture, I do wonder if it still happens as often in in Japan. I wouldn't doubt it, but. Uh, it, it's cool to see how they flipped that in from being a shitty kind of concept. At least in Western culture, it's seen as a shitty concept, but it right. could work if done right. And right. So this is what you see with the Kudo and Mio. Yeah. So it's like, so I do actually know a little bit about this because I actually had someone work for me who was in a, an arranged marriage. Holy shit. Yeah. And so this was is like recent times. She was or not. he? Oh, okay. No, they were uh, Jordanian. I believe. Mm. 
And I believe I, I said that I don't know what right. that is. From Jordan. From Jordan, Jordan. and uh, Africa. Oh, so they're African. Yeah. So okay. they're from Jordania. Or Jordania. They're from Jordan. And they're Jordanian. Right? Yeah. And so from... And I've talked to other people who, like, are from that kind of culture where it's possible. So from my understanding is they kind of modernized it. So mm-hmm. for one, it's definitely not as common as as you said it was. And I'm sure... I'm sure in some circles and some like families, I'm sure some people still have have like the old the old uh, traditional you're marrying this dude. There's no options about it. Right. But from my understanding is they modernized it to where they multiple choices. Yeah, it's like it's an arranged marriage, but you get to meet, you Uh get to date and you guys both have to agree to it. You're Uh not going to get forced into forced. So it's right. very modern. So like, yeah, so like you could be like, hey, we're arranged to be marriage. So it's almost like arranged dating in that sense. Uh-huh. Where yeah. it's like you're arranged to be fixed up by two family by your family and their yeah. family. Instead and, of a dating app, it's it's your family's right. And you guys it. meet and both parties can be like, No, this is I don't want to do this or I'm not attracted to this prayer or whatever, whatever causes. But that's my understanding is that they kind of modernized it to make it more of that. And I okay. still think you get married fairly quick, so I would I would be cautious to say it's, around 16, to say it's 17, like dating. 18, you know 18, what I mean? Yeah. No, no, no. Like it's older, not that early, not that okay. early. Still older, still adults. But I mean, oh, no. like marriage as opposed to like you potentially dating for someone for two to three years. It's more like two to three months from my from at least my understanding. And you guys in the comments below, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. And and you can because I can only on go your, off what I'm told. Yeah, I was yeah. about to say, and that's one culture, right? That you're explaining from what you well, were I've ta- told. I've talked to other people who are in different cultures. Right. Uh, Point Indian, being though is that, like that example yeah. is that one. Yeah, and that so example is that anybody one. Anybody who's watching this, if you have a culture that does it, if you've known someone, comment below because um, that would be cool to see what the style is now, if it's consistent with that story and shit like that. 